Good evening. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, How are teacher. You? Hello. Oops. How was your weekend? Fine. fine. That's ah. fine. Hey, we are happy to we are happy because you are with with us again. Yes, you know, me too, because this is you know, since this program began like six or seven years ago, this is the first time that I have the same group for three months. Two months was the maximum, but I guess I'm breaking record right now. Yeah, I, to be honest, I had the feeling because I really wanted, but hey, happy that you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You know, because um, they removed me from the, from, the, from the previous chat. And I said, okay, so that confirms that I will, uh, I will have a new group. But then when I received the credentials, you know, there was a lot of coincidence. And I said, okay, TOEFL preparation one and with the next group, uh, advanced one. So I said, maybe it's another group, you know. But when I checked uh, to see if I identified any names, it was you guys. So I'm glad. <laughs> All right. So welcome. We are, we are glad to see you again, teacher. Yes, I am glad to see you again, too. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, how was your long weekend? That was a long weekend. Yeah, a long weekend. Yeah, it was fine. Okay. Yeah. Are, you, are, are you still on vacation, Julia? Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm on the beach. <laughs> really? Very happy, Julia. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'll hey. be back tomorrow to San Salvador. Oh, yes. good, um, good. Yeah. Take, take advantage of, of your time. Yes. It happens I once guess. a year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true, but I, I didn't want to miss the class, so I'm here. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, so welcome back. Um, it's good to see you again. Uh, have you guys ever taken the TOEFL exam? Never? No. no. Okay, Never. have you ever taken the TOEIC exam? No? No, no, no yeah. in my case. Okay. In, in yes. my case, I took the TOEFL exam long, long time ago. Okay, good. Okay, anybody else? Uh, TOEFL, TOEIC? Uh, 2008. Okay. I didn't remember almost nothing. Okay, fine. Yeah, because uh, in universities in El Salvador, it is a requirement that uh, if, you're, if you want to graduate, you need to pass the TOEFL exam or the TOEIC exam, one of the two. So even if your career is architecture, law, uh, business administration, it really doesn't matter. It's mandatory that the person takes the TOEFL exam or the TOEIC exam. So this is your chance to be familiar um, with the exam. Um, in some companies, not only in other countries, but here in El Salvador, if you are applying to be in a manager's position or you want a, a higher position in general, they ask you to present um, TOEFL results or TOEIC results. Why? Because many times companies, they have communication with other countries where Spanish is not spoken. So they want to make sure that before they give you this position, you are the right person. So uh, get ready and uh, we will have uh, lots of useful information. Any questions or comments before we start? No, thank you. No, no? Thank you. Okay, so let me explain. Uh, the TOEFL exam how do you say durar in English? Last. Last, yes. The TOEFL exam lasts between two hours and a half and three. They evaluate listening comprehension, they evaluate your grammar, and they evaluate your reading comprehension 
plus, uh, plus vocabulary. So we will be covering all those aspects. Uh, so when you decide to, to take the exam, you are better prepared. Okay, so um, any questions or comments? No. What does, what does mean? TOEFL? Yes. Test of, oh. test of English as a foreign language. Test of English as a foreign English language. As a foreign language. As a foreign language, yeah. So imagine that you are applying, uh, how do you say beca in English? Scholarship. 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 Imagine that you're applying for a scholarship, Mexico, Brazil, Korea, Canada. It doesn't matter. There is a big possibility that the scholarship will be in English, even if it's in Mexico, even if it's Brazil, even if it's Korea. The scholarship is going to be in English. So let's say you apply with all the requirements. They want to see the score that you get in the TOEFL or the TOEIC exam. So, um, uh, so they evaluate your reading, your listening, and your grammar. That is, TOEFL has two different types of exams. The one that I'm explaining right now, and there is another version that is called the TOEFL IBT, and that one is really challenging. They evaluate your listening, your speaking, your reading, your writing, and your grammar. So they evaluate everything that a person should know about, about the language. So, um, any questions so far? And uh, how many levels of preparation we're going to to have? I understand it's three. Okay. Three, yes. Uh, when you take the exam, like uh, if you're applying for a scholarship or you're changing jobs and they're asking you for the results, the exam is $60. You can take it in Centro Cultural, I think. Uh, and I don't remember which other places, but Sixty dollars is the price of of the exam. Okay, uh, pero se escucha algo cortado. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so Nancy, maybe it's your internet. Okay, so um, let's give a few more uh, minutes to the ones that are not here yet. I will assign you to work in pairs and talk about the different things you were doing this long weekend, long weekend. So create rooms, add a room, and here we go. Talk about the things you were doing. Go ahead. A long weekend. Long weekend, simple past, past continuous, used to, past perfect, present perfect, different ones. Erenia and Irene. Can you hear me?
the the 30 40 minutes uh -huh. okay from your house to to the company to the yes to the, uh, oh my god i went to santa ana today really, oh, really? yeah I, for business or for diversion? Work, work. I work in the in wow. that region. Yeah. Okay. I had in, 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 in that city your enterprise. Uh, no. Uh, I work uh, for an NGO and I work in different communities in Santa Ana. Ah uh, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, there is. So you travel around the, the, the country? Uh, a little, a little, but in fact, uh, in Santa Ana, it's more all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes so I, 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 I travel to the West region and the other, and the central, the central region too. Are you working in ONG? Yeah. Uh, okay. Which yeah. one? Enlace. Oh. Yeah, they call enlace. Ah, enlace. Sí, enlace. Ah, and, and do you know someone that her name is Margarita Campos? Oh yeah, she's ah, my friend. I know her. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can mention mention me with her. <laughs> okay. Yes. I promise to do. I know her at the church. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. okay, and I knew go. that she worked at Enlace. And, but very good to, to know that she, you know her. My God, that probably is <laughs> really <it's> a little. <laughs> she's, yeah, yes. she's, yeah, she's very nice. This is a little world, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, she's yeah. a whole world. Yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> it's just, it's and go to eat, they say, uh, China food. Mm, um, I, 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 could, I could rest at the afternoon, just a little, because I have a lot of work for the next day, for Monday. I need to, to do a lot of re reports. Just that. My weekend was a little tired on, sun, on Saturday, but I could rest uh, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. And where did you go to to, to eat uh, Chinese food? Sushi to la gran villa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, it's it, it not Chinese, like maybe Japanese. I know Japanese. Sure. I don't like sushi. I prefer pupo. Three pupusas. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like sushi either. I prefer pupusas, like Julia. Yeah. Yeah, me, me too. But my my little uh, daughter uh, wants to to go there. So okay, we have two. <laughs> right. So you said your wish is my command. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's the it's 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 about a um, a uh, 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 world in the future where some people are living at the earth and other people are living at at. Uh, something like satellite and the people, Saturn. 
satellite, satellite, satellite. Sat uh, satellite. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, satellites. Satellite. Satellite. Uh -huh. Yes, satellites. Uh, and the people living in, in the satellite is is the privileged people. So uh, they they have all the 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 technology that they they live like a, a, a modern how do you say they live in in a, in a modern house yes house. in a modern house in a, with with all the equipment to 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 help the people how do you say yeah, to when, help when people some, to help people no to sanar heal heal people so so the people there they don't have any illness <laughs> okay don't have hello hello teacher we have a question in this level yes. i guess it's necessary to understand this topic Here. because yeah. it, is uh, more is rele relevant, right? What's the difference of when do you do you need to use neither and either? Because we know that maybe they have the same meaning. Yes. But okay. Okay. So how do uh, you? Okay. It depends. Uh, what you're trying to say, uh, like you say, they have the same function. Let me let me uh let me write it in the chat. Okay, chat. So you say I don't understand. This is the first person speaking. I don't understand. Neither do I. Okay, let, let, let me see. Okay, so the first person says. I don't understand. Okay. okay. And you said, like your friend said right now, right now, neither do I. Neither yeah. do I. Or you can perfectly say, me either. In a second. Me either. So me either is the most common one. I don't understand, neither do I. Or you simply say me either. So how do you use this? If you say either, it has to be at the end. If you want to say neither, it has to be at the beginning. But it's not just, uh, uh, um, it might look simple, but you can say, I cannot play chess. I cannot play chess. How do you say yo tampoco? You neither say, do I. Uh -uh. Neither, neither can I. I. Neither ah. can I. Okay. Ah. So what you need to do, you need to identify the model that they're using in the original sentence. So mm -hmm. you said, uh, I cannot play chess. Then you said, neither can I. Or you can simply say, I can't either. Now, uh, American English, they say either. The British, they say either. Either, either. and either. They're the same. They're the same. Now, neither and either, they have uh, different functions, but the most important, the, the, the most common are the ones that I'm explaining to you right now. So uh, you, when you agree on something negative, this is how you're supposed to use it. How do you say, yo no diría eso in English? I shouldn't say that. Yo no diría eso. Yo I, will, no, I won't tell that. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't tell that. I wouldn't say that. Say that. I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. Right. How do you mm -hmm. say yo tampoco? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, neither good I. I. Exactly. I wouldn't say that. And then you agree with the same negative sentences, neither would I. Or I wouldn't either. So uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a topic that you need to understand when to use uh, either or neither. Like I said, they have the same function, but when it comes to usage, uh, you have to use uh, different structures. Right. Yeah. yeah. So just keep something in mind. Either goes at the beginning, neither, uh, no, either goes no. At, the, at the end, neither goes at the beginning. And when you beginning. use neither, you have to repeat the model that was originally used. Perfect. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Got it. All right. We have to practice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Transmit the, the news about that. Yeah. What news? Maradona? Ah, he that today. <laughs> <laughs> That one is the 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 more more recent or the the most recent the news. Recent yeah, the most recent. The most recent. The most recent. But I was okay. But I was a. I was saying to Jose about the news that the president posted that the uh -huh. government has the two million vaccines i think that all oh, the two Again, million yeah vaccines mm -hmm. right right mm -hmm. yes and, and that today at 8 p.m he was going to give the cadena nacional yeah to, national to conference yeah. right right national conference okay. yes okay and what do you think about the vaccine teacher um you know i haven't read in detail the news but i think that if if they're bringing the two million vaccines i mean from oxford uh they should be effective you know in theory they should be effective but mm -hmm. i i really don't have much information about it uh, and in the in the case that they ask you to get the vaccine what do you say <laughs> you know, I was I was thinking exactly the same questions like, okay, what if they ask for volunteers to to get the vaccine? Would I volunteer? You know, like I don't I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. <laughs> I know that I'm protected by God, by the Lord, but uh yeah. I, I think that uh maybe I would. Maybe I would. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. In but we'll morning. see. In the yes, heard, Jesus. In the morning, I heard about the bad thing. Uh, is one of them is seventy percent effective, and the Pfizer laboratories is one hundred percent. Oh, okay. But yeah. but the the translate the one country or the other is really deli delicate because the bad thing needed to to transportation or to to a store in a cool place uh, a, a low temperature. temperature yes okay but if i if i put the bad thing i would like to put the pfizer bad thing not the others the right. one because pfizer is a good excellent laboratory and all all medicine are really proved and uh, the complication or, or I don't know, how do you say the secondary effect? Yeah, uh, side effects. Side effects. Side effects uh, is, is, is low. Okay. Well, let's, let's wait and, and see what happens when, when it arrives. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Oscar, are you still in the United States? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I have a bad connection. A uh -huh. bad connection, but it's okay. So tell me, uh, are you what, in the uh, US? What laboratory is, is giving the vaccines to El Salvador? Yes, yeah, it's still in the US. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, it, it, one is from Oxford, and I don't know if the no, other what one. The, the vaccine in El Salvador. Oxford. Yeah, yeah, the lab is. No, one... but the, the one. Who is going to provide the vaccine in El Salvador? The government. No, but what laboratory? I don't know. When it, Oxford what University, I think. Oh, Oxford is AstraZeneca. I think. Okay. So let's let's wait until the vaccine arrives. But but in the morning I heard uh, one of the the scientific say the if the bad thing had a fifty percent. It's a good uh, effect. 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 But okay. I'm not sure. All right. Good. Good. All right. Let's go back to the main session. All right. All right. Welcome back. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? No? All right, let's go back to the TOEFL exam. Um, About, okay, okay, okay. I, I think it's, that's the question. But sorry, uh, yes, how, how, is, how long is the expired the TOEFL or the TOEFL exam? Okay, um, it, it lasts, okay, when you take the exam, which is between two hours and a half and three hours, they give you a certificate. That certificate is good for two years. Two years, yes. So let's say I take the exam uh, in December. I pass the exam, the certificate is gonna be good for two years. So let's say I want to apply for a work or a, or a, a scholarship three years from now, I would have to take it again. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Try Yeah. So if you Teacher, yeah, in the classes are only to prepare, but yes. we individually need to go to the one side and take the exam. Right. Yes. Okay. Like, no, like, the exam no making English corporative. No, no. It, it's oh, only the preparation. Okay. It's only the preparation. So okay. when the day comes and you want to take the exam for whatever reason, you are better prepared. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so who remembers the sections better yet, uh, the skills that they will evaluate from you? Reading, writing. Writing. Listening, writing, listening. listening. Speaking. And grammar. And vocabulary. Okay, the first section is listening. The first yes. section is listening. The second section is grammar. And, and the way they evaluate grammar, they don't say, okay, um, what is the rule of the third person singular? No. Or <laughs> how do you make the comparative of long adjectives? No. They give you different scenarios for you to identify, so they give you four options in each exercise. They ask you to identify the one that is correct, or they have other exercises where they give you four options. One of them is not good. So you have to identify which is the problem in each uh, scenario. Now, when you go to the reading section, they ask you questions about the content of the reading and they ask you questions about the meaning of vocabulary. 
So let me ask you, do you remember the meaning of the word cognate? It's right there in the chat, cognate. <laughs> cognate. Do you remember the meaning of cognate? In English. Yeah, what is a cognate? Cognate is when we, uh, um, we think that the meaning of the, the one word is similar to another one or something like that. Okay, something like that. Something okay, like that. Let, me, let me give you an example. How do you say human in Spanish? Humano. 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 How do you say um, person in Spanish? Persona. 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 Okay. So let me give you these examples. Um, imagine that you don't know any English. You are basic zero. And you see the word human and you see the word person. A Spanish speaker most likely will identify why? Because we have a word that is very simple in Spanish. That's a mm -hmm. cognate. So a cognate is one word that exists in two different languages. They are very oh, okay. similar or they are exactly the same. Hospital, doctor, animal, institution, person, human, bank. All those examples are cognates because the equivalent that we have in Spanish is very similar. Do you understand the meaning of the word cognate? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. why two am word, I... Two words in different, in different countries. One word... Oh, no. Different one, language. One word in two different languages. Yes, one word in two different languages. Examples, human, humano, person, persona, institution, institución, car, carro, automobile, automobile, estadio, stadium. So those are cognates. Mm -hmm. so, so why am I mentioning this? In the reading section, they ask you to read like three different paragraphs, like four different paragraphs. And they ask you questions related to the information and they ask you questions related with vocabulary. So you will have two different types of questions in the reading section. Uh, reading comprehension and, and questions about the meaning of vocabulary. Uh, is that part clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let me give you an example. They will ask you questions like this. The word automobile line number five makes reference to letter a animal letter b tree letter c bar number four person what is the correct answer number three number three letter three because letter c. automobile makes reference to the word car right mm -hmm. So yeah. this is one of the things that I recommend. When you're taking the exam, uh, first you need to concentrate with the, with the questions that they ask you about vocabulary. Because many times that vocabulary will be cognates that we have in Spanish. The time is limited. Mm -hmm. Every section in the TOEFL exam is limited. So for the listening part, I think it's 40 minutes. Uh, the grammar section is 25 and the reading section is an hour and 15 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So because- It's closer to the time. Yeah, it's, it, the, the time is limited. The time to read, yes. Yeah, the time is limited. So because time is limited, I recommend people answer the questions that are related with vocabulary, not related with the reading. Because sometimes the reading okay. will have topics that have, like they will be talking about uh, ocean animals or they will be talking about uh, parts of an airplane, topics that we don't know much about. But there is also questions where they ask you questions about vocabulary. So when you take the exam, make sure that your priority 
answer the ones that they ask you about vocabulary. When you finish those, then you start reading. Any questions so far? No. Okay, so let, let me show you an exercise that, um, Okay, where, Teacher, and yes. we need to use the platform. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, thank you for mentioning. In the platform, let, let me give you an exact date of when we will fit. We will finish. Okay. We didn't have classes last Monday and we didn't have classes yesterday. How do you say reponer in English? Reposition? Not exactly. How do you say maquillaje? Makeup. 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 Okay. So. Replace. Replace. Uh, replace is. Um, reemplazar. Reemplazar, correcto. Exactly. So makeup. Uh -huh. Makeup. Do you see the chat? Yes. Okay. So we didn't have classes on Monday. We didn't have classes yesterday. So we have to make up for those two days, this coming Friday and next Friday. Is that clear? Tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Yes. So we will have two classes Fridays. tomorrow and Friday. And Friday. And Friday. Next week, we will have classes uh, okay. five Monday days a week. Friday. Okay. So the two Fridays will make up for yesterday and the day before yesterday. Okay. Is it clear? Make up. Yeah, makeup. Reemplazar. Uh, reponer. <laughs> okay, teacher. Reponer. reponer. Yeah. For okay. the girls, I never forget that word. Right, right. <laughs> the only difference yes. between... Never the, forget. <laughs> yeah, the only difference between difference this one and, and maquillaje is uh, this one is separated. Maquillaje <laughs> is one word, and you say makeup. Makeup. Uh -huh. And okay. in that case, makeup. Makeup, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Change the pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, the stress is in a different part. So he yeah. said, I put my makeup every morning, and this is makeup. Okay, so, anyways, so remember, we have classes today, tomorrow, and Friday. <laughs> and next week, we're going to have classes every day. Got it? Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. Got it. Okay, so uh, going back to the reading section. <coughs> okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes I can. Okay, what is the name yes. of the of the inference and rhetorical and purpose? Rhetorical purpose question sample. Okay, exactly. Now, what is the meaning of the word inference? Inference. Anybody? Inferencia. And what is inferencia? I don't know. I'm just tra translating. Okay. Inference uh, is when you read. It take you in read consideration. A, okay. You read an article like the one we're going to read right now. Okay. So we read this article. After you read an article, they ask you inference questions. That means that what did you understand from the information that you read? That is inference. Inference is what you understand or what your conclusions are. Mm -hmm. Now, what is rhetorical? Historical. What's the meaning of rhetorical? Um, I think it's... Repeat, been... repeat and repeat. The context for the article? Yes. Yeah. Rhetorical, I think, is when you talk about uh, events uh, who, who passed many years ago. Okay. I think, uh, I don't know if I, uh, in a correct response. Okay, form. all right. Uh, okay, let's go to Los Planes de Renderos at 11 p.m. How is the weather? Cool. It's cold. Cool. So, you know, we're in Los Planes and everybody's shaking. And I said, uh, it's cold, isn't it? That's a rhetorical question. Uh, okay. So what is a rhetorical question? 
when we are Same sure question. for something. <laughs> it, it's a question. It's an affirmation. That we but know it, the answer. It, yeah. It's a question that the answer is already known, mm -hmm. but people still ask you this. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, I need a volunteer to read the first part of this um, exercise. Me, teacher? Go ahead, the Mississippi River, go ahead. Okay, the Mississippi River and its tributaries form the worst for longest river system. Mm -hmm. Two Canadian provinces and all of part of 31 states in the United States have rivers that drain into the Mississippi. Okay. As the Mississippi River flows down to join the sea, it deposits sand, silt, and clay, building the Delta Seawar across Louisiana's shallow continental shelf. shelf. The the Delta Marsh and its base, lakes, and sounds provide shelter and nutrients for North America, America's most fertile marine nursery. Okay, thank you. Marine nursery. Yeah, marine nursery. Good, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Now listen to this. Now, maybe you have questions about vocabulary. Please notice that during the exam, you cannot take any notes. You cannot take any notes. And um, so you need, to, you need to read and answer the question. You cannot take notes anywhere or they will cancel the exam and they might say that you are cheating. So they will say, no, you're not supposed to be taking notes. So once again, imagine you have new vocabulary there. There is nothing you can do. No cell phones, no dictionaries, no notes, no nothing. So you gotta go straight to the question. So the question says, it can be inferred from the passage that, what will be the best answer from that paragraph? It says, Canada has only two drainage areas in its provinces. There are 31 states in the United States the 31 states mentioned have no other river system to carry silt, sand, and clay? Or is it letter D? Some of the silt deposited in the Louisiana Delta is from Canada. So. For me, it's D. 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 Yeah, exactly. It's letter D. Because when you read this paragraph, a, B, and C are not possible. They are not possible. So here, you're playing with your inference. You're playing with your inference. Because A, B, and C cannot be, uh, cannot be the answers. And as you can see, there is technical vocabulary that maybe a biologist will recognize it. So, and you have, this is like, this reading is very easy. In some cases, they ask you um, to read historical events of 500 years ago about people you have never heard of, but you need to be able to read and understand. Any questions? Yeah. No. Any questions about vocabulary? Um, yeah, I had one. What is it? Silt. Silt? Silt. Silt. Yes. Silt. Okay. Um, have, have you guys ever heard about the word limo? Limo in Spanish. Yes. Uh, limo are little rocks. No. Similar, oh. similar, yes. similar to what we say. No, it's not grava. But we're talking about little rocks that it's, it's natural material that you can find in rivers. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, in, yeah. In, in the meaning for the marina nursery, okay. it related to the, the, the treatment for uh, animals no. uh, for ocean or? No. Uh, does anybody know the meaning of the word nursery? Yeah, nursery is enfermería. Uh -huh. What else yeah. is nursery? What else is nursery? 
nursery, si usted va a un vivero y dice, vivero el, el más fresco. So, el más fresco nursery. Nursery. No, a nursery oh. es un, es un, um, un criadero. Un criadero. Ah, okay. Talking about plants, uh, semillero. Semillero is the word. Because the nursery, oh, okay. the, the word is the, about the... Animals. Animals. Yeah, fertile marine nursery. Un semillero fertil marino. Making reference to plants and animals. Corales. In, in, in Spanish, it's a vivero. Yeah, if you're talking about plants, you say vivero. Pero también puede ser semillero, también puede ser criadero. Ah, okay. Yes. Nursery. Yes, nursery. Okay. Nursery. Fish yes. nursery. Or dream yeah. nursery. Okay, about that. Yep. Okay. Yep. I okay. understand better. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Any other questions related with vocabulary? What about clay? Arcia, I think is the name in Spanish. Arcia? Yes. Arcia. Arcia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arcia. Thank you. Yep. Clay. 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 And how do you say barro? Mod. Mod. Mud. mud, okay. Yes. Yeah, mud. Mud. The same way you Question. say lodo, you say barro, mud. Yes? Hello. Thank you. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Modly? What is the meaning? Uh, what is it? Modly? Uh, where is that word? Oh. It's mud in, in a, el guay. Modly? Modely? Is, is it in the paragraph? No. But it's a <laughs> other other word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Modely uh lleno de lodo, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. Oscar, did you have a question? No, no, so. Shelter. And shelter teacher? Shelter. What's the meaning of shelter class? Like refugio or something like that. Yeah. Where's the word shelter? No, ahí está solo shell. Yeah, but, but it's not related yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. And sounds provide shelter yeah, what's and nutrients. the difference between silt? Yeah, shelter means techo. Shelter. Okay, anybody else? Other questions? No. Oscar made a question. Oscar, you had a question? I guess not. Okay, so we... I have a question. Yes, yes, Rocio. The, the Delta Marsh. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a... Marsh. Um, yes. Do you know the meaning of lake? Yeah. Can you yep. swim in a lake? Yeah. Okay. Can you swim in a marsh? No, you cannot. Marsh means pantano. Mm. Okay. Oh. Marsh. Uh -huh. But, and, 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 and because the same the... Mm -hmm. Because they speak about the Mississippi. River. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Mississippi mm -hmm. River is, yes. Yeah. Do you remember the meaning of the word delta? Delta. Yeah, what's the meaning yeah. of delta? It's a letter in, in Greek. Okay. No, but not it's a letter. In, in that case, oh, it's, a, it's a, a place to join the, 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 the area with, uh, with rivers. Uh, air rivers. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and have this the the form of the um, <laughs> triangle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, deltas they don't have a particular shape, but they go like messy mm -hmm. and they, they, they end in the in the ocean. Yeah. Okay. Any but questions? Yes. I, I, mm -hmm. Silt teacher. What is it? Silt. 
after the deposit. Okay, what is, okay. Sealed. What, is the, what is the meaning of sealed class? Little rocks. Small, yeah, small rocks. Little rocks. Little rocks. Stands, rocks. Uh, little rocks. rocks. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it, it's like a, a gross sand. The sand, but in. Yeah, like small portions. Small portions. Mm -hmm. But okay. I, I have a, a question about the meaning of the sentence. The Delta March and its base lake. Exactly. I have the same sound, question. Sounds, sounds. Yes. In this case, sounds, it doesn't mean. Okay, sounds. it says uh -huh. the Delta March and its base lakes and sounds. So the sounds that the that the water produces. So mm. when they say sounds, they're talking about the natural sounds that you hear. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. The hear. Yes. Mm. So mm. have you ever, have you ever, like if you go to YouTube and you put uh, ocean sounds, you play it and, and for some people that's relaxing. Yeah. Or you put forest sounds. For some people, that is relaxing. So the sounds that you hear many times are are necessary to have a, 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 a nutrition. So sounds yeah. makes reference to that. Yes, it's like okay. the sound of the rain. Really beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? And when it says marsh and its base, a marsh doesn't have a base. Uh, the delta I don't understand the, the sense of the, of the sentence. Okay, it says the delta marsh, los pantanos del delta y sus bahías, exactly. lagos y sonidos. Mm -hmm. So they're making a combination of different components because they're giving a general description yeah. about yeah. the place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any other questions or comments? So very similar to this exercise, when you take the exam, you will find uh, paragraphs related to this, similar to this, where you will find new vocabulary and uh, there is no dictionary, there is no translator, there is nothing, it's just you in your knowledge. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you, what are the benefits of reading? Mm -hmm. What are the benefits? No, let's, uh, the benefits? Okay. Yes, you vocabulary. increase your vocabulary. Okay. That join the, the yeah. words in the meaning for the sentence. Okay. Grammar. Yes. Uh huh. What, what are other benefits about reading? Knowledge about the, the, the structure. Knowledge about the structure, yes. The structure. Okay. Uh, to the sentence. Okay. And, and the, the and the structures and the meaning in the difference uh, in the different structures or in the different um um in the different um, different uh, yeah. mm, yes, I talked about the the, the, the when we use the the the, the yeah. auxiliary yeah. inside okay. the, the sentence grammar grammar yes, the grammar yes okay mm. the structures and the grammar yes and, and remember something one of the most effective ways to improve your grammar is by reading. When you read a book, magazine, whatever, you will expose yourself to structures. And you see the structures again and again and again until you internalize it. Once you internalize something, you use it naturally. You use it naturally. So reading is good for improving your vocabulary, your grammar, you get to know the denotation, connotation of the word. I mean, there are benefits after benefits. So uh, reading is really good. 
Reading is really good. Okay, so if you don't have any other questions or comments, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you for your time and have a good night. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you again, teacher. All right. See you later. <laughs>